Hi, Flosstube. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, August 6th. Um, I know I just did a video last week, but I unexpectedly have the house to myself tonight, which does not happen very often, so I thought I would take advantage. Um, I have kind of a timely giveaway that we'll get to, and I thought if I did a video today, then when I record my next one two weeks from now, it'll, it'll work out nice. So that's what I'm going to do, grab my stuff. Um, the fair opened tonight, the local fair, and it is the highlight of the summer for my son. He's nine. He's obsessed with the fair. Um, we're going, he and I, on Friday with my sister and her kids because we found that if he has other kids to go on the rides with, I don't have to go on as many rides. Not that I mind rides, but, you know, the tilt-a-whirl nine, ten times in a row is enough to do you in. Um, I had a bit of a neck cramp, too, so I told John earlier, I'm like, ugh, it's such a nice day. I'd offer to take him twice, but I don't think my neck can handle it. Um, and he had to work early this morning, so he said, well, I can get out early. If he wants to go, when I come home, he can scoot over and have the evening. Much celebrating was done when I told him that so they just left we could probably tell him you know pack your bags we're going to Disney and he'd be like but are we still gonna go to the fair because um, that's how much he loves it and it's just a tiny little local fair um, I've had people ask you know do you do you put cross stitch in at the fair it's not really that kind of fair <laughs> um, they have one exhibition hall you know open on the ends to the elements, to the dust, to the whatever. They've got their display tables. There are people, there are quilts, there are crafts, there are kids' Lego creations, you know, and then on the other side is the giant green beans on plates and things like the veggies and the canning. Um, but then right down the other end, and this is more what gets me, and these are just like roped off. Like you could reach right in there if you wanted to, no one's watching. Um, the concession stand is down there. So they're frying up burgers and french fries and all those smells, um, just right in that open room. Um, so I haven't, I looked a couple years ago. I, you know, I looked through the book for all the rules. First of all, there's like 700 categories. It's not that big a fair. There shouldn't be 700 categories. Um, and I didn't even know what should even go where, but I decided not to. Last year I looked and there were like two cross-stitched pieces. Um, I'll look this year. The quilts are beautiful. I always love seeing those. Um, but I'll see. But I don't intend to put anything of mine in that I've worked so hard to then have smell like french fries and potentially have french fry fingers touching it. So call me crazy. My stuff's staying here. Um, so that's where they are. I know it's only been a week. My son was at camp last week. He went to a day camp put on by our animal shelter. So they have a big administrative building where they, where they held it. Um, it was just called Animal Camp. And they learned way more than just cats and dogs. They had, he had a great time. Like, he's already planning next year. Um... One of the foster moms brought in kittens. So the first night, I picked him up. <laughs> I texted my husband. And I said, well, he's playing with four-week-old kittens. I think he had a good day. <laughs> um, so they played with kittens. There was a rabbit and two hamsters that just kind of, they don't live in that building. But they're so overrun with cats right now that they don't have space for the smaller animals at the actual shelter. So they have them here. And then on the website, you know, it says if you're interested in a hamster, just ask to meet us because they need you to go look at them there. They're right across the street from each other practically. Um, they did go to the shelter one day and they made snacks for the dogs and dog food and got to see the animals there. They had a man come in that has um, like reptiles. Like he's legit. You know, he has his little, I don't know if it's a rescue. I guess it's a reptile rescue. Um, he had a tarantula and a scorpion, and they got to touch a boa constrictor. 
and all these other things that I was like, well, I'm glad that wasn't still there when I picked you up because I'd much rather pat the four-week-old fuzzy gray kittens. So he had a great time. Uh, it was loud here all week because of the machinery across the street, so they're not quite done. Um, but that's okay. It is what it is. Um, all right, so I grabbed my stuff. I, I think I'm just going to kind of open a bag and see what's in it. It's only been a week. I haven't done that much. Um, so last week, I think I showed you, I don't think I was done. I was working on part three of Hello Pumpkin by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And I got that finished up. So that's what that's looking like. This is on a piece of Picture This Plus Fog. Um, it's a 14. It's a little big. That's what I had that the colors all looked good on. I love these animals. So they're all done. She, uh, Sally from Caterpillar, she just released some sneak peeks of her Christmas stitch along. I love the colors. It's typography. I love typography. I have to just tell myself that it's not like they go away, right? Like, yes, it's a stitch along and it's fun to do it with everyone else. But don't feel like you have to. It will still be there. Um, because I still have to finish up her first stitch along that I started in Mania. Dash Away. I think it's called Dash Away. Um, I'm hoping to get that done. What's this bag? Oh, this bag. So I worked on and I finished one of the little ornaments I'm doing for these are the Britter, Britter Kitties. Most of mine that I have are from just Cross Stitch Ornament Magazines. I, print, I have the CD, so I just printed them out. I don't really know what one is from what magazine. If you need me to find out, let me know, but I don't know. So I did this one. It had the little heart, like they all have that red heart. I left it off for now. So, so I have six more of these to make, but I'll do different ones. Um, And then I'm working on the little tiny button ones that will go on the teacher ornaments that I showed a couple weeks ago. They're like wooden snowflakes. So when they're in their button, they'll look like this. Um, so I did, I have four of those. Well, I have one done and three more. These stitch up, that one's backwards. These <laughs> stitch up really fast and I'm just using little tiny scraps. And then some of the snowflakes are wooden. They're all wooden, but some are whitewashed and some are like natural wood. So for the natural wood ones, I was doing these little, little birds. This is from a Lizzie Kate, um, which I only have the working copy in here. It's from a Lizzie Kate, so like peace, love, joy. So... I worked on that and made sure it would fit and then I can carry on with these because I have a whole bunch of those that need to be done um, but again they're really even those birds took 20 minutes so that's that bag when I finished hello pumpkin I pulled back out automakers farm by Hands On Design and the fabulous Priscilla. I started this in Mania and I started with the truck. Um, this was my last start in Mania and I did one start every Wednesday. So I think it only got two or three days and then I was kind of like, okay, it started moving on. So I didn't get a very big jump, but I pulled it back out. So the truck is done and the little banner I think I'm going to do the cat's eyes in black, and on my other one I did, I filled in the wheels, and I'll probably do the same, and then I'm working up the side. So, I would love to have this one done um, this month, so I could hang it up in September, and then start the winter one for January. But we'll see what I get to. This is on 14 count, picture this plus dusk. I thought the label was still on there. I believe this is Dusk. 
um, which is a, a great chalkboard fabric, at least in the Ada. I don't know how it dies on the others. And then the other thing I've worked on is my map, the Ink Circles um, Mysterious Adventure Project. Now, that doesn't look like much. <laughs> But since I like you guys, I'll take it out of here so I can show you. Um, so you rolled all these dice to do the outline of your map. If the dice weren't landing where you wanted the dice to land, make it up. Roll again. My dice were not playing nice. I made it up. Um, so my map will have two coastlines. So this little one over on this side is done. And then I started where that kind of sticky out bit is right here. That's a lake. That's a river. And then it will kind of go down craggly. And this one will go all the way to the bottom, whereas this one kind of scooted off. And then all the middle section will be my water. And then the two outside sections um, will be my island so I can put all my island stuff in there. And then I'm still plugging away on the border, which is taking a long time. Honestly, I kind of think that's why she gave us the border first, because this way, she suggested do that whole inside, the red and white line, because then you know your dimensions. I did all my outlining of the border, so I can just, like, as I do some, I can just fill it in. Um, the next month that we have, the next two months are kind of smaller elements. One is a compass rose and one is um, where you put the name of your island. So those won't take as long. So I think she gave us these bigger ones so that we can work on filling those in when we have the shorter months. And then when we get a little further in, we'll get the ocean elements. It's, it's a lot going on in the bag that this is in. It's full up. Um, but we'll have the ocean elements and the land elements. That one's on to blue. 16. Uh, so that's what I've worked on in the last week. I kind of touched on a lot of things. Um, but I think I made decent progress. We weren't that busy last week because he was at camp. I watched a lot of Outlander. <laughs> I just started Outlander. I don't usually watch TV when my son is up. First of all, I usually don't get the TV when my son is up. If we're doing something, you know, where we have downtime, he's doing what he wants to do. Um, so I usually, if I'm watching something, it's when it's just me home or when he's gone to bed. Um, Outlander cannot be watched with him, <laughs> like even awake. I need to make sure he's asleep. And sometimes I'm like, if the angle of this TV were any different and people were driving by, they would wonder what I was watching up in here. I felt like that when we watched The Tudors. John and I watched The Tudors, and I'm like, can our neighbor see in that window? Because this is definitely rated MA. The whole neighborhood's seeing it. But Outlander is really good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I think seasons one, two, and three are on Netflix. And then I think you can get like a Starz subscription just for like a month or so for pretty cheap to catch up with the other two seasons. I'm nowhere near there yet. I'm not even done season one. So, haul. Um, just a couple things. Um, I found a couple charts on eBay. I don't even know why I was looking. It's not like I had them marked, but they... I was looking and I found them. So this is Bent Creek Hollyberry Trio. Hollyberry Sampler. I can't get anything to focus today. This one came with the buttons. I have the Plumberry Sampler and it does not have the buttons. And I've looked at buying the buttons and they're more, they're more than the sampler. So when this one had all of them and it was five bucks, I'm like, yep, I'll take that. And then this one, I love these. <clears throat> the trilogy, this is their tall trios, 
So this one is Harvest. Um, nothing wants to focus. These are one of those that I love because they were a kit. And I managed to find just a chart because I'm not going to use the linen. I have plenty of threads on my own. If I don't have the exact right colors, so what? Um, although a lot of these, because they're it's Heart and Hand, Bent Creek, and Twisted Threads, I, I've mentioned before, they, they have a very not contingent. They have, a, they have a palette that they go back to. So I have a lot of these threads because I've done a lot of their charts in the past. And there's continuity, there's the word, they have continuity in their threads. So a lot of these, looking at it, I have all of these. So that's easy enough to just kit myself. And then the other one, and this is still in its packet, this is uh, Jamie from Basic Stitches Fault. When she was showing something she ordered, that was my fault, and she got this one too. And I'm like, great, now I need that one. Um, Christmas Samplers 2, it's the reprint. Um, it's pretty faded in the back, so it will be a bit of a challenge. I love this one, and I like this this Nightmare Before Nightmare Before Christmas Night Before Christmas. This may be one of them. I might make um, one of my very prettier Sal starts. I took this month off to try and catch up on some things, so that means I have four months left. So I have to try and figure out what I want to get to and tell myself if they don't get finished that's okay just start them and finish them next year although I have a lot of things that I have started that need to be finished next year so that was that was haul those three things um so I had another package come in the mail so I was contacted in one of my last videos um by Carla who is the owner of cobweb crop cobwebcorner.com. Um, it's a cross this online cross stitch store. I have ordered from her before. I love that she has a great mix of older charts that are a little harder to find. I mean, not like rare out of print unicorn blackbirds and that kind of stuff, but older charts from designers we know that sometimes just can't, aren't in stock at some of the other stores. Um, and then she also has new product, you know, some of the brand new releases. So it's a great mix of charts. So she contacted me about doing a giveaway, sponsoring a giveaway for my channel. So she is doing a stitch along um, for sweeping cobwebs. And I've been stitching for a school all year, so I thought it was a perfect fit. So this is the chart. Again, it's the reprint. This one's out of the package because this one is mine, so I took it out. Um, she is starting August 22nd. So that's in a couple weeks. So that's why I thought if I could squeeze a video in tonight, then usually they're every two weeks. I could draw the winners and then you get this pretty close to the 22nd. Um, this will probably be my September start, so I'll be a little late to the party. So they have... Carla does videos. She's on FlossTube for its um, Cobweb Corner, which I can link. Uh, she has a Facebook page. She has a page for the sal, the Sweeping Cobweb sal. Um, so if you're interested in joining, I'll put all that below. So she sent me two copies for you guys. Two shiny, glary evening sun copies. Um, so I thought we would do, if you're interested, tell me your thoughts on spiders. Sweeping cobwebs, that seems appropriate. I am, I am firmly in Audrey's Stitchy Witches 42 anti-spider. I don't like spiders. They creep me out. I'm fine with daddy long legs, but that's about it. Even the little tiny ones, I don't like them. Um, John and I kind of have a deal that he takes care of spiders. He doesn't like things that sting. So I take care of hornets and that kind of thing. That's our deal. Um, so tell me your thoughts on spiders. Yay spiders, nay spiders, indifferent spiders, 
only cutesy Halloween spiders wearing like top hats. Whatever. Tell me your thoughts on spiders. Um, and we'll leave the video open until the video. The giveaway will be open until the next video. Um, and then I'll draw and send them out. Like I said, it might be a little, a little after the sale starts. Um, on her video too, I've been catching up on some of Carla's videos. It's very interesting because she um, she highlights like an older designer and kind of shows what she has, you know, in stock. So it might be some that I've never seen before. And then she also gives a little bit of behind the scenes on like the business side, which is really, I find really interesting. Um, Carla also sent me this one, which is Christmas trees. Again, a reprint. I really like this one and this one. So that might have to get squeezed in. I haven't opened this yet to see what that green fabric is. It won't matter because it's linen. So I'll have to find something that I like on my own. Um, so standard giveaway rules. Don't say giveaway, be over 18 so you can legally, legally give me your address. Um, be a subscriber if you want. If you're interested, that would be great. Tell me what you think about spiders. Don't tell me any scary gross spider stories because I'm anti-spiders. <laughs> um, that's that. So thank you very much, Carla. We will disperse those. I'm trying to decide. Pull mine back out. I'm trying to decide how I want to do mine. If I want to do the whole thing, I've seen people do just these cats as a little pillow. I've seen people do just these cats in this witch, and then they take this tis Halloween and kind of squeeze it in there. I might do just the top part. Choices. Gotta find some fabric too. I have some really cool green fabric that might look nice. Plans. Keep working on Autumn Acres. Keep working on that map. If I get Autumn Acres done this month, cry from the heavens because that'll be awesome. And then um, I would like to do Autumn Row from Bent Creek to have that ready. I'd like to do Autumn and Winter this year. And then I have like Thanksgiving. There's a really super cute one by Heart and Hand in last year's. Craft Away's cross-stitch Christmas book. That's a Christmas one. That was meant as a doorstop. It's really long, but there's a, there's a natural break. And I've done the math, and it should fit perfect if I want to do a Christmas one. Um, so that should be that. Oh, and we're going to Cirque du Soleil this weekend. So I'm excited about that. Um, we bought tickets, like, in December. Um, and it's finally here. <laughs> They're doing, it's like an ice show. Um, down in Portland. John and I have been to Cirque du Soleil before. We went um, to Quebec a few years ago and we saw a show there and it was fantastic. Um, uh, my son's never been, so I'm excited. And back to the fair. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, I can't think of anything else. I just did a video last week. I hope everyone's still having a good summer. I know a lot of people are starting their um, back to school already. We don't go back till after Labor Day. So we still have four weeks, including this week. Um, they're going to be pretty busy. We've got a lot of stuff. We've got some company coming. Um, we got stuff. We've got the fair. We could go to the fair every day the next four days. We'd be thrilled. Bye, guys. <laughs>